guys uh, it's springtime finished with my taxes that was a real drag this year and it's time to get out and do some more pruning and this is an apricot that was planted about a year ago and it's time to start the training system which is a process of pruning and what we want to do is establish the framework for this tree which is going to support the fruit load but at the same time we want this tree to look good in the landscape now we're going to train this tree to something called a central leader system uh, and the central leader system means that this major limb here, which is the central leader, from this we're going to develop all of our side branches. Now, the training process was started in the nursery, so at this point what we're going to do is select some branches that will be our first tier branches, and then from this leader here we will develop additional tiers as the tree gets larger. Now, when we use the central leader system, we usually will choose between uh, three to four uh, side branches to be our first major um, lateral branches and we're going to do that in just a second and you may notice here that I have some ribbons on here I, I put these ribbons on here to remind me what branches I want to save so this process isn't going to take more than five minutes so let's get started now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove anything below our lowest branches okay so the first thing I'm going to take out is the sucker right here that is growing down from the rootstock. We don't need that. This branch right here with the ribbon on it is my lowest branch. So anything below that, which you can see down here a little bit further, I'm going to take out. So this was my lowest branch, so everything below that has been taken off. So now I have a branch that's going off to kind of like the southwest, one that's going off to the west. I have one here up near the top that's going off to the east. This one is going off to the east. It's also going kind of south southeast. What I want to do, or what you, you should strive to have, is branches that are going off in different directions so they're not overlapping each other. Now, here I have one branch below another and then one in between. And I have the ribbon here, so I'm going to leave this and I'm going to take these other two off. It may seem like I'm being a little rough, but they're going to grow back. Now I have to decide what I'm going to do with all of these in here. Um, this is going to be my leader, and this is where all of the upper branches are going to come from uh, for the second tier. And what I want to do is just tip this a little bit, and I want to tip it right here so that when it starts to grow, this will become the dominant bud here and will stay pretty much toward the central part of the tree. Now this branch right here has a uh, ribbon on it, so I'm keeping this, but the smaller branch under it is gonna go. And the branch below it and the branch above it, these two are gonna go. This branch is above this one. Since I want this one to grow out in this direction, I don't want this branch here, so this one's going to go. Now, I have a ribbon on this one here, so this one's going to stay, but the one below it is very close, so um, I have to decide what's gonna happen here. So I'm going to take this one out. 
Now this one is going to be the leader and this one is almost as tall as the leader so what I want to do is cut this back a little bit so that this one remains the dominant branch. So I'm going to cut it about here and right above this bud here which is going to go off to the northeast if it doesn't die which it shouldn't. I'm making my cut about a quarter inch ahead above the bud and once I've taken away the apical dominance from this bud once I've taken away the influence of this bud which dominates this branch all of these other buds will start to break and start to produce branches some will be in positions that I want and others won't so now I just have to decide do I want to keep this branch well it's pretty close to this one so I'm not and it wasn't marked anyway so it's going out so the rest of the branches are pretty much okay so the tree's finished now, and if things were ideal with this tree, this branch would have gone this direction, but that's not the way it is, and I'd like this one to go a little bit this way. I could probably get this to bend out that direction a little bit if I wanted to put something on the branch, but it's not that critical. It, do it doesn't have to be perfect, but I have one, two, three, four, and there's a, a fifth uh, side branch here, but I'm already halfway up, more than halfway up the tree, so I can start a whole new group of branches up here. So now all I have to do is take my ribbons off, which were intended to help me to avoid cutting something I didn't want to cut. And this tree has been mulched, no weeds around the base, and it's been fertilized, and hopefully we'll get some good growth. And probably about the third year we'll start to get some apricots.